Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Mavi. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I would like to share with you all my new guitar, my new companion, my new pal, whatever, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's a new guitar. This guitar is a bucket list guitar for me. This is a guitar I have been searching for for years now, ever since I had it in my hand at one point, brand new in a guitar shop, and I didn't buy it like a fucking idiot because I was a goddamn moron. More on that later. Last 10 months or so, I have been really, really, really dying to get my hands on one of these things. They will pop up on reverb every once in a blue moon, most, most of the time when I've seen it, it'll be popping up for you know $1,200 in Spain plus shipping. The guitar is not worth that much. Yeah, uh, no. So this guitar has been in the back of my mind for years now. And every once in a while, it'll kind of, you know, kind of poke up and be like, hey, remember, remember me? And I'm like, oh shit, yeah. Let me see if this, anything's going on. And the last 10 months or so, my, my um, craving to, to, to get this guitar was going nuts. I was on reverb like every other day looking for this specific model. And then finally, I found the guitar, listed on reverb within like 10 hours, and they wanted, it, really, it was a steal. I'll just leave it at that. It was a steal. I, I could not pass it up. And then on top of that, they were somewhat, they were somewhat local to me. Only like an hour and a half, two hour drive. And so yeah, I, <laughs> I don't think I've ever purchased a guitar faster than when I saw that listing. I saw it and was immediately like, oh shit, it's happening right fucking now. Boom, 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 boom. Here you go, what's up? Don't worry about shipping. This was like the one that got away and I've, I've just never been able to fill that void until recently that hole has been filled very, very well. All right, anyway, years and years ago, I had this guitar in my hand at a guitar store and I was like, oh, should I buy it? But at the time, you know, the guitar was like seven, 800 bucks. And my mindset being a young, young 20-ish year old, it, the guitar had to be perfect. I could not, there could be no compromise on the instrument. Like if it, it had to be a, the perfect instrument if I'm gonna pay up, you know, seven, 800 bucks for the guitar. And like a fucking idiot, I didn't even plug the guitar in. I was holding it, just strumming it, playing it acoustically. I was like, okay, yeah, sounds good, feels good. This is cool. I could do some cool stuff with this. And then I'm like, well, let me see what the fucking internet has to say. Let me let me Google some reviews on this guitar. And the one review I read gave the guy the guy gave the guitar a three out of five stars or something like that. It's a great guitar. Everything's good. Whatever. Uh, pickups are a little muddy. And like a fucking just moronic fool, a fucking imbecile. I was just like, oh, no, 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 I can't do that because I can't compromise my tone. God, no, not my tone. I can't do that. Muddy pickups, get the fuck out of here. I can't afford that. So I didn't buy it. Years later, I was pining for the guitar again. I was like, man, I really want that guitar. I didn't even fucking plug it in to see my for myself if the pickups were muddy. Just reading some random review on the internet wasn't good enough for me. That's how much of an idiot I was. Don't be me. Anyway, so years later, I, I want the guitar. I go to a guitar store, they don't have it. I look online, it's out of stock. Nobody has it, they discontinued it. They only had it from 2013 to 2016. And it bummed me out, hardcore. And then so I kind of gave up on it, but then you know how it goes. These things, it always just lingers in the back of your head and you're always gonna be thinking about it. Like what if, you know, that's the one that got away. Years and years later, I've been on reverb and I have a couple go-to instruments. I just want to check out, see what they're what they're like. You know, I, I look at the the 90s era Ibanez RGs. I'd love to have an RG of my birth year. I think that'd be cool. Um, I look for like Japanese Fenders, um, Strandbergs, of course, um, RST, yeah, whatever. I, I have a list, but then I made it priority. I only looked for this instrument. That's the only instrument I would search whenever I'm browsing, looking at guitars. Just this one. And it finally showed up, the listing for it. The listing showed up, it was priced way below average, and the dude lived like two hours for me. And I bought it on the spot, and I was so happy. And um, picked it up, it was beautiful, clean, easy transaction, 
And yeah, here it is. Okay, so what the, what the f is the guitar, right? Because I've been, I've been kind of babbling here. What I have is an Ibanez AFJ957. You know, nothing really particularly like, you know, it's not like some fucking uh, bl black machine, fucking crazy luthier. Uh, I mean, you know, like those, it's not like, it's not that. It, it's, it's a fucking production line Ibanez, but it's a seven string. It's a seven string hollow body guitar. Look at that. It's great. Look how, it's, it's beautiful. I love this thing. This is great. The pickups, uh, yeah, the, yeah, they're a, <laughs> they're a little muddy. They are a little muddy, but you know, it's okay. It's, uh, it's great. Sounds great, I love it. It's, it's pretty good on the high end. It needs a setup, I'm not gonna lie. So when I got the guitar, it had acoustic guitar strings on it and it was tuned in just a weird like stoner doom metal tuning whatever that is like drop b or something like that the guy you know he was a nice guy but he was just trying to experiment with some like weird like doom metal acoustic jazz and um the guitar was in good condition but it just you know because of the weird tuning and everything he was in like the, the guitar is not really properly set up I, I did a little bit of setting up but um okay so so <clears throat> okay now the question is like why like what 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 essentially I'm fucking drooling over a seven string semi hollow guitar. Yes. Why? I'm not good at it yet, but I, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm not the best um, representative of like, oh, here's all the cool fucking things you can do. And I'm sure someone like Jens Larsen would be more able to facilitate that sort of thing. And that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment in the comment section, and th uh, subscribe to my channel. Why not? Do it. I can just I can do it. And <laughs> and then I'll, I'll I'll see you in the next video. So take care.